Welcome back, I'm Chris Wenani, and today we are going through Archicad. Uh, we are doing Archicad, we want to see how to dimension, it's actually automatic dimensioning, instead of the manual dimensioning that you are used to. I actually, I'm using AutoCAD um, 21, but it doesn't matter which version you're using, so we're going to do the automatic dimension for this one. So of course, please remember to subscribe. And uh, so let's get into it. So I think, let me do first the manual. So the manual dimensioning, like in this case, you go to, you know, my lab design document and more. So I go to document, then dimension two. So if you're doing the manual dimension, you're supposed to select like the point to point where you want, and then you hit OK. You right click and then OK. And you place your dimensions, but this is normally like if you're going to do because you're supposed to indicate your dimensions from here to from maybe here to here, here to here, then from this point to this point, then this point to this point. That usually takes a lot of time. So let's see the my the automatic one. So for the automatic one, I will change my uh, let me change this to. My work environment, I want to change it to I have my profile, I want to change it to so you have layout profiling, MET profiling, then standard. So right now I'm using the standard one. So I'll go to i go to options, work environment, apply profile. Then the profile that I want to use is the M MEP profile, which is normally used for mechanical or mechanical works. If you want to do the ducts, the pipes and all that. Uh, it has left that that works all this. If you want to do this pipe work, this is it is actually good. You should you should download it. So I want to use this one to do my my dimensioning. So so what you do next is just you select you, you select all the words or every part that you want to be dimensioned. So I'm just selecting all the words. So after I'm done selecting everything I want, I'll record the words that I want to be dimensioned. So I haven't selected this side, but it's okay. I go to document, and then you can see exterior dimensioning and interior dimensioning. So I want to choose exterior dimensioning. Then here you just have to select which 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 ones do you want? Do you want the overall dimension? At least I want the overall dimension. Dimension external geometry, yes. Dimension structures, yes. Dimension openings, no, I don't want this one. Then here, you just select, like you want to place, do you just want to place on one side or all the four sides of the building? So I select place dimension on four sides. The distance be between dimension lines, 500 millimeters. Dimensions worth, but you can go with this or outer faces. I'm choosing outer faces, then I hit. Okay, so the next thing I do is I draw like I draw a line to show the side that I want. So I can draw a line like uh, let me you can draw here, 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 or any inside that you want. So let me draw like here. This just shows where do you want. So where do you want your dimension to be? To be on this side, to be on the left side or on the right side of that line. So for me, I want my dimensions to be here. So just like that, and you're done. You have all the dimensions. There's no hassle. So to get the, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you don't have the M M M E P. You don't have all these options. So to get it, you just go to. You can just go to the. Um, you can come here to check updates and then it will take you to the Archicad website. Or just go to the Archicad website and, and 
on downloads you will find the MEP and download it and then install and you'll be okay to go. You can also download other, other softwares or add-ons like goodies and all that. So it's, this is, it is very easy and the fastest way of doing so.